Greetings and salutations everyone, Jake Vegas here, and today we are going to get nostalgic, relive our Texas Lone Star Lake memories by catching spotted bass. Except today we are fishing for these spotted bass here on Louisiana's Quanchkin Lake in Fishing Planet. So let's get into the float setup that I'm using out here on Quanchkin Lake in Louisiana. We'll go to the inventory and here we go. This is my float setup. I have got the, uh, the good old Phoenix 14 foot 10 inch pole and I've got the Redfish 5500 reel. Now, I put this reel on here because it is heavyweight reel and I planned on doing float fishing for the catfish out here did not plan on going for bass with the flow fishing rig, but I decided after I got here that I was going to go ahead and try it out. Regardless, uh, you guys will see if I include that footage in the video that the um, the float fishing rig here with this Redfish 5500 reel is a wee bit too heavy for the bass. I have to set my drag all the way down to one setting uh, so the line does not snap. I should have planned it out a little bit better um, and brought a different reel, reel with me for this rig, but didn't, so make and do with this. You guys could use a much smaller reel on your rod setup, uh, not as heavy duty as this Redfish 5500 when going for the spotted bass out here on Quanchkin Lake. Now, I've got a 4 aught size hook loaded up with some night crawlers, and I have 10 pound uh, fluorocarbon line on the rod and reel setup here. So that is float fishing. And in the particular area, it's rather shallow. So I've got the leader set only at 20 inches deep. Now let's move on to the casting rig. Got my trusty bass caster 7 foot 10 inch pole and the counselor 3500p reel on it. Um, gonna fish all kinds of different lures mainly top waters I'd imagine out here, but again, this setup is also loaded up with 10 pound fluorocarbon line. Now I like the fluorocarbon line mainly because it's not as easy for the fish to see in the water. So I've noticed that using it, I think, uh, I think it increases your chances of catching fish because they can't see the line as easily. And I'm assuming that, I mean, it happens in reality, but in this game, I'm assuming also that, pardon me, it uh, makes the present, presents the lure more lifelike and more realistic to the fish. At least that's the idea behind using fluorocarbon lines. So let me show you where I spawn in at for this particular spot. We are going to go over here to the Pelican Hut right here, and we're going to go ahead and spawn in. And once it's spawned in, I'll show you guys exactly where I go to fish for the spotted bass. It's a good spot for them. And as soon as it loads up, we will get there. All right, I'm going to turn myself around here real quick after I uh, replug in my controller here. There we go. All right, going to turn myself around here. We're going to go this way, which uh, it's kind of hard to tell without a compass, but it's towards the open area of the lake. The lake without all the lily pads and muck like you see off to the left. We're going to go, or to the right, I mean, we're going to go all the way to the very end of the dock. Right over here. And this is going to be the area that we cast from. So let's switch to our float fishing reel, uh, rod and reel here and we'll go ahead, see if we can't land ourselves some more spotted bass. This whole area here, guys, this whole area here, you see the muck over here, you see the lily pads over here. I've caught spotted bass all over this area here. So keep that in mind. 
you could drag a uh, you can drag a frog across the topwater frog across the lily pads. You can throw some topwater walkers, poppers, uh, spinner baits, jigs, everything in this little opened up channel here. And you can even do some float fishing. So without further ado, let's cast out there, see if we can't land ourselves some more spotted bass. Looks like we got one on the line already here. Boom, it took it under. See that, guys? You can tell on the reel. I know it's given a lot of... A lot of drag out there, but on the reel, you can see I've got it set to a one. If I set it up one more, there's a chance that that line will break. I don't want to do that. Here we go. We got, we got another spotted bass. Little two pounder, not bad for a spotted bass though. This is bigger than anything I think you'll get on Lone Star Lake. So let's go ahead and keep them. $160. Let's go ahead and keep them and put them in the keep net. Now, I want to give a shout out to a subscriber named Jonathan, also known as Stitch and Fishing Planet. I was fishing with Jonathan out here the other night and he actually showed me this spot where you can consistently catch the spotted bass at i've been experimenting with it a little bit here and for the most part there are a lot of spotted bass here occasionally you'll catch uh, a bowfin or a chain pickerel and there we go we got a fish on nighttime you might catch a channel catfish but for the most part there is spotted bass throughout this area what do we got here another spotted bass it looks like 2.1 pounder not a bad little spotted bass we'll go ahead and put it in the keep net later in the day here on Quanchkin Lake in Louisiana and I didn't want to spend too much time on float fishing so I went ahead and switched it up to uh, lure casting right now I've got myself the three foot crankbait with a number three odd hook on it and we're going to cast out there as far as we can go. And I'm just going to reel this in at a nice speed of one. And we'll see if it'll entice any of the bass out there to hit it. As I mentioned earlier in the video, there is a chance that you can catch other types of fish here, including bowfin, chain pickerel, especially off the crankbaits, topwater lures. So, oh. Look at that, we got another fish on here. Let's go ahead and reel this one in. Doesn't feel too terribly big, but maybe it's got a little bit of weight to it. Let's see what we have. Another almost two pound spotted bass. About the size that we get out on Lone Star Lake when we catch a good size one. All right, I've been talking to the guys in chat here, so give me a second while I do that. All right, still got the three foot three odd crankbait on the pole. We're gonna cast right back out to where we've been casting here with crankbaits. Right as far as we can get into that little, it's almost a little indentation out there in the weeds. And same thing, just with the crankbait, I, I work it real slow, one real speed all the way back up to shore we got another fish on guys look at this the crawfish color out here crankbait three three foot three out has been working fairly well for catching these spotted bass i think this is a spotted bass no this is not this is a chain pickerel like i said guys earlier in the video yeah you can catch some chain pickerel out here as well Oh, look at that. Boom. Boom, boom. Yeah, this is a nice size fish on the line here. Guys, switched it up to the popper 3 4 ounce with a 4 odd hook. And right when I casted it into that little area there, look, it, it just hit automatically. I don't think I even worked the bait that much before the fish decided to slam it. This is a nice size fish. I don't think it's a bowfin. Doesn't look like a bowfin. Let's get this one up here and see what it is. 
Hey, look at that trophy size. Spotted bass. This is definitely larger than any spotted bass you'll catch on Lone Star Lake. Look at that. 3.1 pound spotted bass. That is a nice size fish for these guys. Look at him flopping out there. We will go ahead and put him in the keep net as well. So I was really looking forward to night fishing for bass here on Quanchkin Lake. If this lake was anything like the Florida Everglades, I was sure I could land a unique spot of bass by casting a topwater walker. I couldn't be more wrong. When night finally settled in, I casted the topwater walker and didn't get any hits. In addition, nearly everything I threw at the spot of bass produced lackluster results during nighttime, including live bait. No matter what lure or bait I used at night, the spotted bass just weren't having it, and I was fishing peak time during these hours as well. Whether the fish not hitting at night is specific to spotted bass, or whether they just don't hit at nighttime here on Quanchkin Lake, I don't know for certain. But my advice? Fish for spotted bass during daylight hours while here in Louisiana. It is officially Fishing Planet Day 2 down here on Quanchkin Lake. And I had good luck. I nailed a trophy largemouth bass yesterday off of the Popper 3 4 ounce number 4 odd. I'm going to go ahead and give it another shot while, <laughs> while it's out here. Wow, look at that. Something came up and slammed it. Again, now remember guys, there are big bowfin too on this lake to get up to a unique size. So, very possible that bowfin... Oh! Bowfin can be on the line as well. But I gotta be honest with you, the way this thing is fighting, moving fast, doing circles. Nope, this one is a bass. I can tell by the way it is bouncing in the water. Let's see what we got here. Look at that! Another trophy spotted bass. 3.774 pounds. All right. Unbelievable. Look at that. 300 some odd dollars there. Nice size fish. Two trophies I've landed so far out here on Quanchkin Lake using the 3 4 ounce topwater popper. We're going to go ahead and cast back out there. See if we don't have some good luck again. Unique spotted bass are in here as well, guys, just to let you know in case you weren't aware of it. They've got trophy. They've got unique. Um, I've caught two trophies. Would be nice to catch a unique at some point. Can't make any guarantees on the uniques, though. You never know when you're going to nail those guys. So, nope, we got another fish on. Look at that. This one feels eh, hard to tell. It's coming in rather easily. Yeah. Yeah, this one, uh, this one's coming in rather easily here. What do we got? Not just a little chain pick roll. Yeah, that'll happen. That'll definitely happen out here. You will catch the chains as well as the spotted bass in this little little fishing spot that we got here. Now I'm going to cast right back to that same area. We've been having good luck out there casting lures the entire time I've been out here. I just cast that little spot and... Uh, start to pop or reel in a crankbait or walk a walker across the water and i've had real good luck catching a spot of bass so far in this area we landed two trophies so far and uh yeah hopefully we can get a unique sometime soon would be nice to mark one of those bad boys off our checklist
a third trophy spotted bass. Not bad, not our unique. Looks like we're gonna have to try a bit harder to get our unique, but this trophy spotted bass will work for now. We'll put him in the keep net, cast back out there, keep on gunning for that unique. another fish on this one this one feels well don't lose attention oh man this one feels this one feels big holy cow wow either that is a bowfin out there i don't think it is though because it is darting very quickly in the water huh is this our unique i think it's either a unique chain or a unique spotted bass or a unique largemouth bass, possibly. I haven't caught any largemouth over here yet, but this has more fight than any of the bass I've caught in this area so far. This might be our unique, guys. Might be our unique. I'm getting ahead of myself. It looks like a bass out there in the water, too. Doesn't look like it's a chain. Nope, that is not a chain. That is a spotted bass. Haven't had a spot of bass with this much fight in it yet. Let's see if we can get this thing up to the shoreline here. Or the dock, I should say. Oh, man. Come on. You are almost up here, buddy. You are almost up here. That thing looks fat. Let's take a look and see what we got. Boom Basta. Unique spotted bass. Out here on Quanchkin Lake in Louisiana. Man, I've been gunning for this thing for two fishing planet days. Look at that. We finally got it. Gonna take some pictures, add it to my photo collection. Man, that, that is a good feeling to finally land this unique bass. 500 some dollars, six pounder, six pounder, almost seven pounder. For this unique spot of bass, man. That is great. Ah, oh, good feeling. Okay. Okay. Yep. We're gonna go ahead and put this one in the stringer or uh in the keep net after after I admire it for a little bit longer. There we go. You are going in the keep net right now. Alright, guys. I think this is a perfect time to end this episode here. You guys know the drill. If you enjoyed this video, shoot that like button. If you want to stay up to date on future content, haven't done so already, please subscribe. I'm Jake Vegas with Jake Vegas Digital. Thanks for watching. Keep on fishing in the free world. We will see you.